This video is brought to you by Envato Elements. Hey guys, in this tutorial I'll show you how you can turn a toy into real dog using Adobe After Effects. It's pretty easy but fun effect, so let's get started. First let's see how this was shot. Put the camera on a tripod and record the main shot. In this shot the dog is already sitting on the table. I just cover him with a blanket and then move it away. In the second shot, place the stuffed dog on the table at the same spot where the real dog was sitting. Once we have this recorded, we can bring it into After Effects. Before we start, I wanna quickly talk about Envato Elements. Envato Elements is an amazing tool for all creators. It's a huge library with tons of creative assets and presets. They offer great stock footage, including green screen clips like fog, fire, lightning, water, and literally anything you'll need. This library also includes professional Premiere Pro and After Effects templates, VFX packs, intros, transitions, text animations, as well as sound effects and music. It allows you to download unlimited amount of all these assets just for a single price and you can cancel it anytime. If you are a filmmaker, it will definitely save you a lot of time. Make sure to check it out, there is a link in the description down below. To start with, place the shots on the timeline. Main shot on the bottom and the shot with the toy on top of that. First we need to cover the real dog with the stuffed dog until I cover it with a blanket. So take the pen tool, select the toy shot and create a mask around the dog. Then feather out the mask as well. At the point where the dog is covered with a blanket, animate the opacity of this layer to go from 100 to 0%. Now we need to get a blanket in front of the dog. To do this, duplicate the main shot and move it to the top of the timeline. Then trim the layer to keep just the necessary part. Next select the Roto Brush tool, double click the layer and start drawing a mask around the blanket. Once this is done, freeze the selection. Now enable Use Motion Blur option and tweak the settings. And that's basically it. Next you can select all layers, right click and choose pre-compose. Now you can add fake camera movement and color grading. And we are done. If you found this helpful, please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.